Hey everybody, got a sixth update on the LTX DMR project. I've hit a few roadblocks, but I've also made a lot of progress on this recently. As you can see, pain is starting to go down on this. The gray parts here is the primed parts that are waiting for the different colored sand colors. Uh, the sand color that I've been trying out, I've tested on this part and this piece, mainly because they're small and I can easily remove them, and if something goes wrong, it's not the entire thing that I have to redo, it's just a little piece. So I've been testing out finishes and different colors on those two pieces. Um, the black parts are, are all pretty much, pretty much down, and as you can see, I've retained the paint from the handle. Um, it's a high traffic area, and the Nerf paint seems to hold up pretty well to, uh, to, to wear and tear, so I'm leaving it the original um, stampede colors for that just because my hands tend to eat through paint pretty well. Um, the clip right now is still orange, mainly because this is a different clip. The clip I was using, I did paint, but the paint adds a little bit too much resistance between this thing going in and out, and it makes it really tough to remove. So I'm having to undo that paint and sand down the, uh, the clip so that way when the paint goes on, it's not quite as thick, and so it comes out much easier. Uh, other than that, I've hit a few electronic problems with this blaster. First of which, I fixed the uh, power issue before, but as you can hear, solo, solo mode. The next one should be team one. Team two. Oops. And then the team two position doesn't do anything, which means that I've got a problem with the connection for the team one selection. This makes sense because I had to replace the the uh, power and team selection switch because the previous one kind of got screwed up. Um, I mean, it's taking it apart and getting it ready for, for painting. So I've got that to fix. However, what I did install successfully was this switch here. This switch determines the strength, either 10 hits or 25 hits when it's in, in uh, being used with normal LTXs. So that switch worked out pretty flawlessly. Um, other than that, the, uh, the other issue that I've been having has been the strength gauge. I mounted it in here. There should be five LEDs right now. One red, two yellow, and two green. Currently there's only two yellow and one red. I don't think it really shows up on the video. So the wires for those need to be repaired as well. Um, other than that, the blaster is still functional. I've got the uh, display on this side for the ammunition working pretty well. And uh, it should be combat tested again come Friday and then Monday again when the Omaha Laser Challenge Association starts their sixth summer season. So uh, be looking for updates then. See ya!